Hi. Um, good evening, everybody. This is um, me, Ronald Zamora, and we're here at this hangout today, and I'm about to show you, teach you, whatever you want to call it, how to how to write marketing emails that make you rich. Okay. So. Uh, I'm just going to use um, a couple of minutes to, maybe not a couple of minutes, probably about 30 seconds to check out our stuff and make sure that it's working very well. So, um, I want to see, let's see, that we're working. Okay. All right. So, I guess we're on. Okay. All right. We're live. So, let's go. So, Internet Marketers Hangout Email Marketing Edition, how to write marketing emails that make you rich with Ronald in Zimora. Okay, so who am I? In case you're watching and you don't know who I am, my name is Ronald in Zimora. I run Profit Marketing Systems Limited. It's a publishing and consulting firm which specializes in deploying killer and massive profit generation, profit generating online marketing campaigns. We've worked with Dr. Sonia Bazo Jaguase, the publisher of Complete Sports and Success Digest. We've worked with Reverend Sam Ademi of Daystar Church. We've worked with Dr. Okwebaun, CEO of Affinity Solutions, and um, a host of other clients. So, what are we going to cover today? We're going to cover what email marketing is. Um, I'll show you why everything starts with the lists and the build and how to build a responsive list because the, the reason why this is important is if you build a list that is not responsive, it doesn't matter how good you are at email marketing, you're not going to get buyers. Okay? You're not going to get buyers. So, um, you, it's very, very important that you understand that the list is very very important that you need to build a list that is well targeted so when you send out promos when you send out emails you can actually affect the list you can actually influence the list to do what you want them to do and then I'm also going to show you how to write emails that gets you lots of bank alerts I mean the reason why we send out marketing emails is to make profit so we want to make sure that the emails that we send out or the emails that you send out in your marketing campaigns actually get to the the kind of results that you want, the sales that you want. And I'm also going to be showing you a live example. I'm going to be writing an email um, that that can go out to a list right here in this webinar. I'm also going to show you how to get your list to love you, how to get them to go bananas over you, how to get them to buy whatever it is you put in front of them. Then I'm going to share resources with you, resources that should help you in your email marketing, and also then we're going to take questions and answers. Does this sound good so far? All right. So before we get into the nitty gritty, I'm going to go over back on Facebook, and then I want to see if we have some comments coming in from Facebook. I want to see what people's opinion about the few minutes we've already done. Uh, let's even see if people are really watching and and if there's any problem so that we can correct them before we get into the, the main gist. Okay? All right, let's do that. Okay, let's see here.
Okay, let's see what we got here. Okay, all right. So, cool, cool. So, um, we've got some comments, audio. Okay, the audio is okay now. All right, cool. All right, so let's go back. All right, so. No, marketing is simply the art of using copywriting skills to sell your products and services to a responsive database of prospects or customers using email. Now, for the purposes of this webinar, I'm going to assume that you already have an existing um, prospect and customer list or you're planning to build one. Okay, because obviously email marketing is not going to work if you don't have um, people that you want to sell to, or you don't, or you don't have people who have already bought from you before now. So I'm assuming that you already have um, a prospect list, and that you are planning to build one. Okay, cool. So everything starts with the list. All right, everything starts with the list. Um, when I say the list, what I mean is the database of people that you that you want to sell to or people who've already bought from you in the past okay your list has to be responsive if you don't have a responsive list you really are not going to do much you really are not going to get the kind of results that you want okay um, I, I'm going to be showing you three different ways you can use to build a responsive, well-targeted list, okay? Um, there are three ways to do this. I'm going to be showing you examples of websites that do this, and then I'm also going to, you know, um, show you a campaign that I'm, that I'm running currently where I use one of these. It's actually the way I, I, I'm going to be building my list these days going forward. So I will tell you the reason why I'm choosing that option and or that method of list building and why I think you should actually use it too. So the three methods we're going to be discussing, method one is jumping through, through hoops to subscribe. Now what this means is you actually create stumbling blocks before people see your opt-in page. You get them to read some content before they see your opt-in page. You know, the opt-in page is not up front. It's, it's not on the first page that they land on when they click on your adverts or they click on, on your home page. So you basically make them do some work to subscribe. Now, the idea with this is if they actually go through it and they go through the process, they jump through the hoops that you've sent in front of them, they jump over those hurdles and subscribe, they're actually qualified. It means that they really, really want what, what you are offering them. So that way you can be sure that these guys that are coming in, that are opting in, are actually interested in this stuff because the thinking is, if somebody is not interested, they wouldn't have gone ahead to jump through or, or, or over those hurdles to land to finally reach your landing page and subscribe um, to your list. Okay, now method two is um, the pre-sell and the opt-in. Okay, it's also similar to method one. Okay. But this time you actually educate them before you actually you, you tell them to opt in. You actually educate them. You know you teach them a little bit about the topic that you want them to opt in for, or about the product, or, or about the service that you want them to buy, and then ask them to opt in to your page and and then get the product. Now method three is the double opt in. This is the method that a lot of people use. You know where you land on the on the page from the ad. Somebody clicks on, on an ad and they land on your page and when they land on your page, you know, they see an opt-in box. There's a headline there, the opt-in box is there, and the, the headline is actually 
tempting them or trying to cajole them or trying to force them, in quotes now, you know, to subscribe. Now, the way this works is, of course, if, you're, if, if you've been in internet marketing for some time, I guess you understand this, but I'm going to explain this for the benefit of those who are not or who are just new. The way it works is when somebody opts in, okay, you take them to a page where you ask them to go back to their emails and confirm their subscription. So they have to log back to the email that they subscribed with, open the, the first email that the autoresponder sends them, and then click on the link inside that email to confirm their subscription. So if you really want to build a responsive list, these are the three methods you can that you can use to do that. Now, I don't use method one. Okay, I think a lot of people get dropped along the line. Okay, I'm going to show you what I mean by that. I'm going to be explaining more of that. Um, I also don't use method three. I, I use it in a couple of instances, but I'm going to, if, in all the campaigns that I have running where I use method three, I'm going to be changing them. I'm using my favorite method right now, which is method two, which is the pre-sell and then opt-in method. So in method two, what I do is I educate them a little bit before I, I invite them to opt-in. So before they opt-in, they already have a basic idea, you know, of what they're opting in for. They, they have already whetted their appetite enough to get them interested in the product before they opt-in. So that's the method that I use. So I'm going to go over now to the web pages. I'm going to show you examples. I'm going to show you the the my my squeeze pages, my landing pages, and the campaigns that I run currently using these methods. So let's go over there now. Okay, right. Um. Um, now, I'm going to show you method one, uh, uh, you know, the jump through hoops to subscribe method. You know, basically, uh, you know, an example of said that wrong, something like that is, um, is this website, okay? It's get your girlfriend back the info, okay? Now, what they do really is, um, is right here on the landing page, right? They 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 have um, uh, you know the re really looking at this at, at this example, it, it is more or less like they are combining method one. They are, they are both pre-selling and then they are actually putting hurdles in place for people to, to jump through. They are putting hoops in place for people to jump through before they subscribe. But basically what they do is right here there's a headline, right? Okay, and you scroll down a little bit and there's the reports. Now you don't this report is here free of charge. You can download it. Okay, and this is it. So it can be downloaded and read. So basically they are not asking you to subscribe or to give your email address in exchange for the report. They give you the report up front. They're not asking you to, to submit your email address and your name and your phone number or whatever else people, people have on the opt-in pages to get you to subscribe before you get the report. So they give you the report up front. Now what it means is before you see what's for sale, you've got to download this report, right? Before you see what's for sale, you've got to download this report. So, so now, if you download this report and you open it, you have to read through the report, okay? You've got to read through it and you've got to read, go read it, read it, read it, read it, and then you get to the end. of the report, and then there's a link to the source page, I believe. 
Okay, so this is what this guy is doing, right? So this is what this guy is doing. He's bringing you here. He's giving you the report. First of all, you know, it's like he's placing a hurdle. You can't do anything until you download this report and you read it. Okay, so report, and you get to the end of reports, there's the link to the sales letter. So when you do that, you can see that he has his opt-in from right here now. Okay, so, so that's it. Now you can now continue and read the sales letter and then you either decide to buy or not to buy. Okay, so basically what this guy is doing is he's using this method, right? He's using the the number one method. He's asking you to jump through a hoop. And in this case, his hoop is the the free report that, that he gives you. So you have to download the free report first of all and then read it. And then after you've read it, you can then click on the link, go to his sales page where he also has his opt-in form, right? We saw that over here. Where he has his opt-in form, and then you either opt in, okay, you either opt in here, and then continue reading the sales letter, and either buy the product or not buy it, whatever the case may be. So that's method one, okay. Now method two is what I call the pre-sell then then opt then opt-in method. And I already explained that in, with this method, you actually educate you, you educate people before you ask them to opt in to their to uh, to your list. Okay. Now, how in this method? Um, if you go to zimmer.com. This is my website. Okay. Um. It's a website basically that I set up to teach um, Nigerian internet marketers how to start a business. On so now I say everything you've ever learned or heard about making money online is wrong, and I will prove it to you. Which is my headline. Uh, it's not the most. Fun, it's not the, the the best headline in the world, but it works. Okay, and I say discover how to truly make money online without getting scammed, losing your hard-earned money, and God forbid, wasting five years like I did trying to figure it out. You don't even have to give me your email in order to learn this. Also inside, okay, so basically, they come here, they read this, and you, you can see, okay, these are folks that I've worked with. You can see that there's no opt-in from here, right? I'm basically just teaching. I'm basically just teaching. Okay, I made a discovery that changed my life. Producers and consumers. By the way, the link to this uh, um, to this page is the Ronald and Zimara Letter dot com. T H E R O N A L D N Z I M O R A Letter dot com. Again, T H E R O N A L D. N Z I M O R A letter dot com. Okay, so now they get to this point and then they have to click to continue. And then I'm still teaching, I'm still educating. I actually have links leading out away from the website, really, because I'm providing examples, so I want them to be able to click and see those examples. Okay, so There you go. So I'm still teaching, I'm still teaching, I'm still preselling, I'm still educating. Okay, they get to the end again. They still have to click to continue. Okay, and I'm still educating, I'm still educating. So they've gone to the first page, they've gone to the second page. We are on page three right now. Okay, I'm still teaching three pages inside, right? Okay. And then you have to click again and go to page four. Okay. So 
Okay, of course, page four is the last page. So now, um, as I follow this, test, first of all, choose the opportunity that most suits your abilities, and blah 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 blah, and then click here to apply how to apply to learn how to start an, an information marketing business. So when they click this, and now take them to an opt-in page. You see that? So I'm pre-selling. First of all, I'm pre-selling, and um. I'm pre-selling and now they've gone through the first page, the second page, the third page, and they're on the fourth page where finally when they click on the on the last link, basically they now go to my squeeze page. So here now they can opt in and get access to my product. So when they opt in here, Okay, they've supplied their email address and they supply their name. Okay. And they click on get instant access. That is going to lead them to my sales letter. So that's method two, the pre-sell, then opt-in method. Okay. Now method three is the double opt-in method. Of course, where you have um, folks sign up, they land on your page and then they sign up, you take them to another page where you tell them to go back to their email address and click on the message that you have sent to them. They click on the link inside that message to confirm their, their subscription. So I also have a page where I, I use that. Um, let's see. Okay, this is it. This is for another product of mine. I said the only business in the world which does not require you to invest a couple to start. And the three reasons why you're not doing it yet. So that's the headline. I have bullet points. I have bullet points. And then, of course, the sign up. OK. So now I'm actually, I'm actually going to be changing this up and using Major 2, you know, where you I have to pre-sell and educate first of all before they see my opt-in form. So I'm going to be changing this up in a couple in a couple of days to test it and see if the conversions go up or if the conversions go down. Okay, so if the conversions go up, I'm going to be using that. If it, if the conversions don't go don't go up, if they remain the same, I could still keep using it. But if the conversions go down, definitely I'm going to be coming back the but basically, this is how this is right now. This is how it works. And that's it. OK. So so basically, this is um, an addition of the, the whole process. So method one, people jump through hoops to subscribe. You give them an ebook without them opting in. They download it, read it, and then they click on the landing page link to join your list. So when they they sign up, using your opt-in, okay. Example: get your ex-girlfriend back. Info, okay. And then you write a mini sales letter giving reasons to join your list or not join. At the end, just like I showed you, there's an opt-in form, or you click here to continue link from where they sign up. Using your opt-in form, and I showed you an example. Okay, and then of course the double opt-in. They see your headline, um, plus the bullets, the blind bullets, the opt-in. The next page asks them to confirm their subscription. They log into your email, and then they join your list. All right. Okay, I'm going to go over to Facebook for a moment. Um, I'm hearing a lot of dings. In the background, I'm going to see um, if people are asking questions and answer a couple of them before I come back to the presentation. Okay, let's see. Come on, Internet. Yes, 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 yes. Okay.
All right. So, so here we go. I want to be sure that we're live. Yeah, we're live. So why are we complaining? All right, let's go back to the presentation. So writing emails that gets you lots of bank al al alerts, aka money in the bank. So now th this is how I write my emails. This is how I, you know, I craft my emails. I'm going to be showing you a life example of how I write emails. You know, so these are a couple of tips that you can incorporate into your email writing, and I show you if you can do this, you really are going to, you know, write very very powerful emails. You are really going to enjoy writing them, and those emails are going to make you a lot of money as long as you build a well targeted list. So. The tips are when you are writing an email, you need to pretend that you are writing to your best friend, because really, what are your customers if they are not your friends? You know, when I'm writing, I I because I care so much about the results that the people that I sell to get, I want to make sure that I give them the best. I want to make sure that I give them something that works. Because I understand that it depends on me, you know, they're spending a lot of money to buy advice from me, and I want to make sure that whatever they spend their money on is something that has a lot of value. So, and I believe that if I have a friend, especially someone I call my best friend, I'm going to to do whatever is necessary. I'm going to do whatever it takes to make sure that my friends get the best. So when I write my emails to send out to my list, I consider everybody in my database as my friend. I consider them as family. So when I want to write an email, I actually pretend like I'm writing to my best friend. So you really need to do that. You have to you know think that you are writing to yourself. Okay? Or to your best friend. Now if you were your own best friend, how would you how, what kind of emails would you send to yourself? I think it's a very important question to ask, okay? Um, if you were your own best friend, or if you had someone who you call a best friend and you wanted to send them something, how would you craft that email? How would you write it? What would you do to make sure that they get the best? So this is a technique to use. Always pretend that like you're writing to your best friend and when you write, you should also use stories. I use stories a lot in my emails when I write. There's hardly an email that I write that I don't weave a story into. Now, these stories are not manufactured. These are real stories. I try as much as possible to to write these stories and uh, you know write these emails. I want them to be as factual as possible. So you don't need to sit down and manufacture something. I'm sure so much has happened in everybody's life that there, there are lots and, lo and lots of stories that you can, you know, about things you've experienced in your life that you can weave into every single email that you send out. Okay, so I use stories a lot. I, when I write, I use stories about how I struggled before I got started in the business. I tell stories about how I, I was, uh, I, uh, I lived in the university, I write stories about my family, I write stories about my favorite football club, Chelsea FC, I write stories about, you know, about um, anything, anything really, okay, anything. Now another tip is when you write, especially when you're writing, your first draft, don't worry about misspellings, always write like you're talking to someone. You know, that's why it's important like, that you pretend like you're writing to your best friend. Always write like you are talking to someone. Just pour it out. Just let it flow. Don't worry about the misspellings. Don't worry about correcting anything. You can always edit it later if you like anyway. But of course, you should edit. You know, but, you know, always let your writing flow. 
when you're writing your first draft, make sure you just let it flow. Don't try to correct anything. When you are done, you can now go back and check everything that you've written and check for misspellings and then correct the misspellings if there is any of them in it. Next tip is read widely. If you want to be a very good email copywriter, if you want to be a very good internet marketer for, for that matter, you need to read widely. I read loads and loads of magazines. I read anything, anything really. I read basically anything. I read Time magazine. I read um, Newsweek magazine. I read our local magazines here like Tell. I read sports magazines. I read newspapers. I read business magazines. I read practically anything, practically anything, anything. You know, so I read a lot of blogs too, gossip blogs like Linda AKG blog. Okay, I read that too. Um, basically, anything because when you read, you get to to exposed to stories, you get ex exposed to new ideas, you get exposed to better and better stuff. Okay, and with each new thing that you get exposed to, does some content that you can that you can weave into an email that you write and send out to your list. Okay. All, another method that I use when I write emails is um, I search Google for the topic I want to write about. I try to learn more about it. Okay. Um, if I let's say I'm I want to send out an email about how to make money within affiliate marketing, for example. I go in, I set Google, I see affiliate marketing, I read a couple of articles about it, and then I glean some ideas about it, and then I come back and I start to write. Then, of course, you need to also study other smart email marketers. There are loads and loads of email marketers that are very, very good at what they do. You need to study them, you need to sign up to their lists. You know, I follow Matt Fury, you know, I follow Ben Sado. These guys are these guys are beasts, beasts, really, when it comes to email marketing. I follow Andre Chaperon too. Smart guy, super smart guy. Okay, Andre Chaperon um, is the creator of Autoresponder Madness, which virtually every single email marketer or internet marketer what he sold has, you know, said. That is a great course. So I study all of these guys. I study John Carlin. I'm subscribed to his list. I study Alan Cotts. I'm subscribed to his list also. Um, these are super, 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 super smart guys, you know. So Alan Cotts was here in Nigeria last year, like November. Uh, he was here for a program hosted by Dr. Kwebao. I'm sure you guys know Dr. Kwebao now. Super smart man he is. <laughs> all right, so all right now I'm going to um, write a, uh, an email now. I'm going to open up my notepad and write. Okay, so okay, let's see. So I'm going to open up my email. And write it, and so you can see the the processes that I follow when I write. Of course, I already have an idea of what I want to write about. I'm I'm going to send a mail. I actually want to send out an email, a broadcast to to my list tomorrow, promoting Dr. Bowo's upcoming um, program called Internet Marketing Explosion. So right now, I'm going to write that email, and I want to. And I'm going to show you the process. Um, so first of all, you start with the subject line, okay? Some people do this last. I like doing it first. So um, starting with the subject line, I'm calling it how to gamble and still win in internet marketing. Okay, so my subject is called how to gamble and still win in internet marketing. Okay, I say um, they're causing. Okay, now 
uh, I'm sh if you're surprised why I'm saying dear cousin, basically I call everybody in my list cousin. You know, it's a way to bond. I'm going to explain that much, much later anyway. So um, let's just continue. But everybody in my list, I call them cousins, okay? So yeah, they are not my cousins per se, you know, for real, but they love me calling them cousins. So I guess they love it, and if they like it, that's fine by me. All right, so dear cousin, tonight I... I placed a bet on a football match for the first time in my life. Tonight, I placed a bet on a football match for the first time in my life. I bet that Manchester United is going to win or draw with Bayern Munich okay I said tonight I please bet on a football match in my, in my life okay two bets actually I please bet that Manchester United was going to win or draw with Bayern Munich and then I bet that um, FC Barcelona was going to win against Atletico Madrid If you are a football fan, I bet you know what the result is already. I was correct about the first one. I was wrong about the second. Manchester sorry Manchester got a draw and Barcelona also got a draw so I won one and lost one Bomber. Well, why did I place a bet today? Really, I hate gambling. I think is a foolish way. To piss off your hard and money. But the reason I did it today was because I wanted to do something for the first time in my life. I didn't place the bed doing some to win some money though it would have been nice to do so. I really wanted to know what it feels like to watch yourself either through money 
away on 22 Atlas chasing a ball all over the field. I have two friends of mine who run sports betting companies, Otumba Akin Alabi and Toyin Omotosho. And I keep telling them I was going to bite the bullet and bet on a game someday. Today, I did it. And it felt pretty good. It wasn't really that bad, even though I lost a bet. Now, I'm thinking I should have done this a long time ago. I guess I was just too worried about losing and that was why I never did it before now. Now I bet you must be thinking What has this got to do with anything? Plenty, I tell you. The truth is a lot of people are so afraid about failing at something that they never ever get started. I have a lot of people send me messages on on Facebook and Twitter asking me if really they can build an online business. My answer is always the same. Yes. But then they slink away and I never hear from them again. why they are afraid of losing. If you want to win in life, you should never be afraid of losing. If you ever want to see your dreams come true, don't be afraid of losing. If you want to build an internet business, do not be afraid of losing. Here's why, if you let fear stop you, 
you will remain a loser. But if you go out and do it despite the fear, you lose some, maybe, but you'll win some. Like I did today with Manchester United. Now, I want to tell you about a program that's coming up next week. It's called the Internet Marketing Explosion Seminar. It's hosted by Dr. Pope Bamu and it's for people who want to win by building an internet business. I will be speaking Okay, by building an internet business. He has lined up 10 of the best Nigerian internet marketers to teach you everything you need to know about building an online business. I will be speaking at the event and I want you to be there because if you are you will win for sure. You can't go wrong with this. So I urge you to be there. To get more info about the Internet Marketing Explosion Seminar, Go here. Uh, Internet income Africa dot com. You get to see the date and the venue for the seminar and guess what if you do come you get a special gift from me no I won't tell you what it is right now you have to be at the seminar to know. So go on ahead and visit for more details. Talk to you tomorrow. Your cousin Ronald. Okay, so 
I mean, it's um, it's kind of long, right? But I, I I prefer the long emails. I I'm able to tell my stories in the emails and um, and then I'm able to you know weave my my source message into the emails as well. So some people like writing short emails. I I've tried short emails. I prefer the long ones, and they work for me. So this is it. Um, um, let's see that. Okay, it says how to gamble and still win in internet marketing. I say, um, of course, I tell a story about placing a bet on a football match for the first time and two bets tonight. You know, we just saw the games before the 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 match got started. So, like I said, always use true stories. So this is a true story, something that happened tonight, and I then. I'm t talking about the story and then I'm weaving the story into the real reason why I'm mailing them or why I'm sending the email, which is really to promote Dr. Kwebango's, um workshop. Okay? So, so that's it. And from the story, I then move into, I weave the story into the main purpose for me writing the email. And then I introduce the workshop and I tell them to go sign up. So, so that's it. That, this is how I write um, emails. This is what I do, really. Uh, you know, I can I can bang out these emails as many of them as possible. If you're on my list, I'm sure you get my emails, and I'm sure you do enjoy my emails. Everybody who are, who I've ever met who is on my list. They always say they love getting emails from me, and they urge me to write every day. So, so this is how I write them. Okay, it's it's not that hard for me to do. But um, as we go along, I'm also going to be showing you the other pieces of the puzzle and what I do to create emails like this. All right. So, how do you, how to get your email? How to get your list to love you and to buy from you every time you mail? Now, every time I send out an email, I actually I really get it so every time I, I I send out an email, right? Because the the I already have set expectations beforehand. The people in my list, um, my customers, my friends, my cousins, like I like calling them for those in in my IM list. Uh, they love me. They like hearing from me. They they have it's gotten to the stage where they feel like they know me personally. Okay, I've built a personal relationship with them. So now a way to do do that kind of a thing, a way to have that kind of influence and that kind of effect on your list is you've got to get them to love you. To do that, you've got to build a personal relationship with this. And how do you build a pre uh, with them? How do you build a personal relationship with them? Two ways: immediately they subscribe. That's when you start, and immediately and uh, well, immediately buy something from you. So immediately they subscribe. What do you do? And when they've moved from being just a, an ordinary subscriber to a customer, somebody who has bought your product, what else do you do? So these are two critical points that you really, really need to be very, very mindful of when you you create emails, okay? Immediately they subscribe, what do you do? What does your first email tell them? And this is, again, the reason why I really don't like doing the double opt-in thing, which is why I like using the pre-selling, because I know that if I pre-sell, those who are not interested are not going to get to the end where they are going to see my opt-in form. All right? So so at that point, I don't really need to get them to double opt-in again because I've actually saved them. I've actually saved them. So immediately they subscribe, they get a letter, okay? They get a letter, and and this is the, the letter sets the, the letter they get, sets the tone for what um, they they are going to to expect from me from the newsletter. So this is the, the email that goes out when somebody subscribes to the Renaldinzimaraletter.com, okay. 
uh, uh, we are going to be changing this up, okay? But this is the original email that we used to send out when people subscribe to the newsletter. So they get this email. I say, boom, I guess a congrats is another. You've made it this far, okay? The question is, do you have what it takes to stick around and make money online? I'm going to expose you to some of to some stuff that is going to make you shed tears, tears of joy, because at least at last you discovered us. Okay. Now, basically, the 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 job of this email is to, is to set the tone. It is for them to understand what to expect from us, the kind of emails that we are going to be sending them. You know, in this email, we tell them who they are going to be working with. I tell them about my assistant. You know, I tell them that they are going to be meet, um, she's going to be sending them emails from time to time. I tell them how frequently I'm going to be sending them emails. I tell them the kind of emails they will be getting. I tell them every, basically what everything they need to know about the business. And of course, I invite. I have a link for my product at the end of the email. Okay, where I tell them to you know to go and buy the product. Okay, so I actually adapted this email uh, from um, Andrew Chapron. Okay, he sent an email like this, and I adapted it from him. Of course, I changed um, a, a lot of it, you know, so that I could make it my own. Okay, it, it's useless trying to copy and paste people's emails, so you got to make sure that that the content is unique to you and to your situation and to your to your niche. Because I don't want you copying this email. This is for my list. It will totally not work for your list. So, but you are we are welcome to study it and you know basically you know craft something similar to it. So, this email goes out to them immediately. They subscribe. So it sets the tone. They they know what to expect. And then the number two email is each time they buy something from us, they get an email thanking them. Okay, for every single product that they buy, they get an email thanking them for, for buying the product, you know, telling them, giving them the link to the product if the product is a download. If it's a physical product, it's going to that email is going to tell them when the product will be delivered, when they should be expecting it. And then the email gives them contact details in case they have any questions. This is who to call. This is where to send an email if you have any questions. So when they buy from you, you've got to send an email setting the tone for the relationship, given, telling them what to expect. So that if the, that person subscribes to your list by mistake, for whatever reason, mistake here, in quotes here, you know, they are going to read that email, and if they are not a good fit, they can unsubscribe. Okay, and when they buy something from you, because a lot, a lot of people, when when people buy something from them, especially a lot of marketers in Nigeria, you know, they don't tell them, okay, thank you for your order. This, you are going to receive your order, so 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 time, right? Or a so and so time, basically. They don't tell them that, you know, they basically just send out the product. And that's it. But that way, you don't bond with people. What, you know, the, the, the easier way to do it is they buy something, they send you conf payment details to confirm that they've bought it. When you make the confirmation, immediately send out the product. If it's a, if it's a downloadable product, if it's not, send out, send them an email. Whether it's a downloadable product or not, anyway, send them an email thanking them for the order, telling them when they will be getting the order. If it's a downloadable product, the download link should be in that email, giving them contact details so that they can be able to reach you if they have a problem. Okay, so so that's it. After the subscribe, set expectations. Use a pet name for for your emails when you send out emails to your list. Use a use a pet name. Like I said, I, I call my subscribers in the IM niche cousins. Actually, uh, it's a funny story. I I didn't come up with the cousin thing out of the blues. You know, I I 
kind of stole it from Mike Filzheim. If you're familiar with Mike Filzheim and um, uh, Andy Jenkins with the, with the video boy, Andy Jenkins is the guy, the creator of the video boss thing. He and Mike Filzheim created video genesis. So when I was watching the videos and they preserve the, the launch for that product, uh, they, they were calling their subscribers cousins and bosses. And I, I thought, wow, this is cool, cousins. I mean, I felt closer to them much more than I felt before. You know, when I heard that, them call me cousin, and I'm like, whoa, man, that, that's cool, cousins and bosses. You know, so, and I said, well, I'm going to call the people in my list cousins too. You know, of course, I didn't use cousins and bosses verbatim. I just, you know, just took the cousin part of it. And and that's what I used. Now, uh, a couple of um, months back, I saw that some other guy here in the country is calling his subscribers cousins. Of course, I, I smiled, you know. Um, <laughs> Yeah, it works, but then it's a good thing. I mean, he had the good sense to see that something was working and decided to use it. But the truth is, because I was already using it, you know, when, when other people who are on my list see that he's using it, they're definitely going to know that he copied it. Okay, so, you know, it's not going to have the kind of effect that it would have had if it was original from his side. So, you know, is you it's not just the cousin thing. You can call your list. You can call them hello professors. You can call them hello bosses. You can call whatever you want, really. Just find a nice, cool sounding name and call them. You know, now beyond that, always teach very valuable stuff. Always, always teach the people in your list very, very valuable stuff. Share your personal stories in your emails. Offend people on purpose. Offend. I offend people on purpose. Sometimes I write emails and I say, if you if you are too lazy to do the work that is required to build your internet business, please unsubscribe from my list. I don't want to talk to you. I don't want to meet you. I don't even want to see you. You know, when I do that, a couple of people unsubscribe. And guess what? It's the people that never ever buy stuff from me. You know. There's the people that never ever buy stuff from me. I mean, it's better they are not there because they're not um, adding any value to me. And, and obviously, I'm not adding any value to them anyway. So, you know, rather than they being in, in the lead database and running up, you know, the cost of the, my autoresponder fees for me, I would rather they leave, you know. And then I can concentrate on the people who really, really want to hear from me, who are desirous of learning from me and improving their lives. So offend people on purpose. Don't do it all the time or you're going to sound like an idiot and a jerk. So don't do it all the time. Once in a while, do that. Always send out testimonials and success stories regularly. If some somebody has bought your product and they loved it and they told you, look, you know what you what you gave to me, what I bought from you, it worked. I want to say thank you. Write up an email, send it out to your list, and tell them, look, we have another person that loves what we do here, that has bought our product, and this is the result they've gotten in their own words. You know, when you do that, you know, it makes a lot of people, you know, who are still on the fence, who haven't decided to buy yet, when they see success stories. You actually get them to buy. Also, sometimes these are the things that are needed to get people to, you know, to move from the point where they, where they are still considering to actually finally getting to buy, going ahead, going ahead to buy your product. All right. So also, make sure that your e that your email has a return address. Okay, that people can reply to the to the emails you send. Now, this is my least favorite thing to do. I really don't like the, doing the email back and forth thing, okay? I don't enjoy doing it personally, so I don't do it a lot, but it's something that you should do if you're up to it. I really don't like doing it personally, you know, but um, 
because we're, we're, we're working now to expand, I'm going to be hiring somebody and their job will be to reply all the emails that we get from our subscribers so so that I won't have to do them, do the replies myself. So definitely we're going to be doing that. So it's also a good thing for you to do. Make sure that your emails can be replied to, have a return email address in your autoresponders so that when people will send you an email, they ca you can, you can, when you send an email to people, they can reply you and you can send them a reply, you know, the back and forth thing. So, so after you buy your product, of course, like I said earlier, set expectations with your thank you email, tell them what they, they what's going to happen since they've already paid. You can also call them on the phone, which is very, very important. We are also going to, this is something new that we're also going to start implementing also going forward. We are, we are going to start calling the people who buy products from us on the phone immediately. They we confirm their payments, we'll call them on the phone, we'll thank them for their purchase, and then we'll tell them that their order has been sent or the order is on the way. Again, if it's something you cannot do by yourself or you don't want to do by yourself, you can always hire somebody to do it for you. Now, also ask people to join your page on Facebook. Tell them to go and like your, face, your page on Facebook. They should follow you on Twitter. You should, they can follow you on Pinterest and on Instagram. I think that in these days of social media, you should have an account at least on Facebook and Twitter, at the very least. Okay, in that email, also tell them that customer support is available and at what times it's available. You know, and then of course you you, you can also create higher levels of contact with you for payment, right? So you can have gold packages, diamond packages, platinum packages. So your platinum package could have um, could, could have a 24-hour direct contact with you incorporated in it, which the other packages don't have. You know, so always try to create higher levels of contact, even if you have to charge for those um, high levels of contact. Okay. Some more advice. Always remember that the goal is to treat your list members like your family and like your friends. Always, always remember that that is the goal. In your emails always refer to you as we and us, okay? So when I send an email to my list, I say, and I want, and instead of saying something like, I am going to, I say, we are going to, so that they, you know, I'm incorporating them into it, you know, I'm saying that it is a we thing, it's I and them that are going to do it. You know, it's not like an I, 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 I thing, you know. So this, this is another way of bonding with, the, with um, your subscribers. And then very, very importantly, very, 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 very importantly, do not ever promote products you don't believe in to your list simply because you want to make, to make money. This is a shitty thing to do. Really, really shitty thing to do. Don't ever promote a product simply because you want to make money. You know, I, I get count, countless and countless requests for JVs and, and, and promotions via Facebook and via my email. I don't reply to 99% of them because I look at them and they're not a good fit for my list. It's not something that I'll buy myself. So why should I recommend it to those in my list to buy it? So I don't ever sell something to people that uh, to, the, to, to the people in my list that I know that I cannot buy myself. Like again, the golden rule is these guys, your subscribers are like your friends and your family. You wouldn't recommend a bad product to your friends or your family members. So if you take your subscribers like your friends and family members, you also will not recommend a bad product to them. So it's basically simple logic. You know, do this when you do these things, your the loyalty your subscribers will have to you is going to go up, it's going to lower your refund rates, and you turn people that are in your list into evangelists. You know, and how do I know that? Because I know that a lot of people come to me and they say, somebody told me to come to you 
that that they trust you and that they know that you can teach me how to make money online or teach me how to start a, um, an information marketing business or an internet business. So uh, I guess if people didn't trust me, they wouldn't recommend me to other people. If they were not loyal to me, they would trash talk me on Facebook. You know, my phone rates would go up. You know, and they won't have been even realize me or preach to other people about me. So do these three things, and and you are going to see your your loyalty. You know, the levels of loyalty from the subscribers go up. Your fund rates are going to go down, and they are going to talk about you everywhere they get the chance to do so. Now, extras. These are very, very important things that I do. Do not ever write an email when you are sad, when you are angry, or when you are hungry. Don't ever do that. When you write an email when you are sad, or angry, or hungry, your email is going to be bad. It's as simple as that. It's as simple as that. There's something about writing that it conveys your emotion. Your emotions somehow gets get transferred into your writing. So when you're sad, you, your emails are not going to come out well. When you're angry, of course, your emails are going to sound agitated, agitating. When you're hungry and you write an email, your email is going to sound weak. Okay? Now, always use your name as the sender in all your emails. When I send out an email to my list, when people look at senders, you know, the senders column, they're going to, my email is going to be there, not the title of my list. Your name should always go out as the sender for your, in all your emails. Always, always do that. Write as if you are gisting with a friend, like as if you are you're talking with a friend. Do not ever use double opt-in. I don't ever use double opt-in. If you use the three methods that I especially the first two methods that I talked about earlier for building your list, you don't need to double opt-in. There's something about double opt-in. You know, uh, double opt-in, many, many people hate having to opt-in to a list and then being told to go back to their emails and then click on a link. Many of them just don't bother with it. Okay? Many of them don't bother with it. So that's why I like using the other options of pre-selling first and then telling them to opt in maybe after paid for. So that's what I do. I don't ever use double opt-in ever. The autoresponder services that I use is get response. Yeah, of course, if you're familiar with get response, get response starts at $15 a month and then goes up based on how many subscribers you have in total, you know, different campaigns. And I also use AppReach. AppReach is a self-hosted um, autoresponder platform. Uh, I'm hosting it on my own servers. So I'm going to be using Infusionsoft next. Infusionsoft is a badass um, autoresponder service. It's, it's not just an autoresponder service. It's a CRM service. What it means is CRM means customer relationship management. So it works as an autoresponder and also works as a payment processor, you know. So and then of course it works. It, it's it's incredible. It's incredible. Um, signing up starts at two thousand five hundred dollars. I think for for the first hundred thousand emails you send out or something like that. I'm not too sure now, but you know you can go over to your site at infusionsoft.com and sign up. But if you're starting out, I would recommend you start with GetResponse. GetResponse practically has everything that Infusionsoft has apart from payment processing. GetResponse is getting even even better, better and better every day. So I would recommend you start out with GetResponse. And then these are the two that I use. Another one you can use is Aweber. Aweber, I think, personally, I think Aweber is... Um, is is a bare bones kind of autoresponder. They they just have basic features. You know, get response does one one thousand more things than Aweber can do. So another service uh, autoresponder service you can use is SendGrid. SendGrid. That's S E N D G R I D. Grid. SendGrid.com. I've not used them before, so I can't really say for sure how they work. Um, 
but I've used Get Response. I currently use Get Response, and I currently also use AppReach. Then um, I also study copywriting every day. I study conversion hacks every day. What I mean by conversion hacks is different things I can do to increase my conversion. Only this evening, I was talking with my friend Tony. We are talking about what to do to create um, high converting offers and how to get more traffic to our offers and how to convert that traffic that traffic to buyers. So we 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 do that all the time. We try to come up to come up with more and more ways to increase our conversions, the number of people that sign up to our list and the number of people who buy the products that we recommend. So um, the resources that I've studied to learn email copywriting, I've told you about these guys earlier, um, Andre Chaperon at autoresponder.madness.com slash ARM. That's where you are going to, you can get his course. I think the course sells for three hundred dollars two nine seven. So uh, you know it works. You, it work, it, it, it's it's a badass course, really. Really, really badass course. You know, everybody who is an internet marketer should get that course and study it. Another person uh, that I study is Ben Sato. Ben Sato is um he's crazy. That's that's where I'm gonna put it. But he's good. He's really really good. He has um, an email newsletter that is in print. So you can also buy the buy the the other past issues as downloadables. I think I'm guessing. I'm not sure, but I know that it's mainly in print. So he you, you pay ninety seven dollars for it, for. It, for it every single month, and he sends you um, a copy of the newsletter every month. So, so that's it. Um, I'm going to answer questions for ten minutes. Um, you can ask your questions on Facebook. So, after ten minutes, I'm going to, um, I'm going to, you know sign off but I expect to get the questions now if you have any questions anything you want to talk about just come on Facebook come to my my wall on Facebook ask the questions in the next webinar that we're going to do I'm going to find a way to to get everybody to be able to uh, to ask questions I'm going to find a way to include a chat box so that um, so that we can chat. I think the Google the Google platform has a chat box. I'm not sure about that, but let me see. Let me see. I think I think there should be a chat box. I'm not sure. Please know the answers. Let's see. Okay. Okay. Let's see. I think. Okay. Says opening audience questions. Wow. Okay, let's try it again. Okay, it's not working. Anyway, by with the next webinar, I'm definitely going to find a way to allow everybody who wants to ask a question to ask their questions in a very tidy and easier manner. Okay, but for now, you can you can um, come on Facebook ask the questions 10 minutes so by 11 uh, 11.40 11.40 I'm going to sign off and end this webinar so let's get the questions people
Okay, I'm not getting any questions. Okay. Oh, whoa. <laughs> wow, okay. Alain, Alain. Uh, yeah, people, this is Alain Cox. Hi, Alain. Um, thank you. Wow, I didn't even know you were listening. Wow, thank you so much. Alain, Alain has been a, um, a, of great help to us. Um, I and Toyin, he was um, in Nigeria last year and and um, he's, he's given us loads and loads of advice to help us in our business. Um, Alin, we are coming to the US. Yeah, we're coming. Um, thank you, thank you for watching. Thank you for your encouragement. You've been a blessing our lives. We, I am a friend on behalf of Toyin. I, I just want to say thank you to you. God bless. Okay. Okay, Prince Labo says, "Do you advise we use get response or approach? Which is better?" Oh well, uh, it's not a which is better thing. I think I, I started. I, I was using approach. I was using approach, uh, and then I decided to move over to get response. Okay, because. Apprit is self-hosted. You know, you host it on your server, like I said. Uh, you host it on your servers, and, and then you know you can create the opt-in forms, and then you know use them right there on uh, on your pages. Okay, but then if you are going to use Apprit, Apprit is kind of, kind of expensive. Okay, it's kind of expensive. Um, it's six hundred dollars to set it up, and then you've got to get a high level of hosting. Uh, you know, and it costs fifty dollars per month for that hosting. I use HostGator level three hosting because that's the, because that's the only way you can you can uh, that's the only way you can you can be able to send out those emails really. You know, but we get response. You know, get response is easy. Everything is hosted on their own servers. You just pay for it monthly. You know, so for is for uh, uh for somebody who is starting out, who doesn't really want to tinker with all the technicalities because Apprit is very very technical to install. I would advise that you use Get Response. So if you are starting out, Prince, I think you should use Get Response. Not just because you are starting out. Even if you are you are you are experienced, I mean I'm experienced. I've been in this since 2000, 2003. So, and I still use Get Response. Their service is their service is fantastic. So I'll go with Get Response first. I recommend Get Response. Okay. Um, Anete says, let's see his question. Um, it says if you're selling short reports of less than 20 pages, do you need four pages of pre-sale? Oh well, um, uh, well, 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 well. It, it's a kind of a hard question to answer, but this is how I'm going to answer it. And yet, um, if you're selling short reports of less than 20 pages, yeah, if it was me selling it, I'll do four pages of pre-sale. I will do four pages of research, really. Now, don't, it, it's not, it, it mustn't be four pages. It can be just two pages. Now, if you look here, look, I want you to, to come back to, get your girl, your ex-girlfriend back. Okay, where is it? Okay, look look here. Look here, near here. Get your ex-girlfriend back dot info, okay? This is Andre Chaperon's website, by the way. Okay. And he's selling a book about how to get your ex-girlfriend back, right? He's pre-selling, but he's just pre-selling over two pages. He's just doing it over two pages. Look at it. So this is the first page. This is the first page that all his traffic comes to. And then this is the second page. So when you click here, okay, it takes you to okay, it takes you to page three. Let's see. 
Okay, so yes, page one, page two. Okay, uh huh. Okay, he has okay just three pages basically is what he's using. So it's it's not a must that it must be four pages. Okay, I'm just using four pages as an example because that's what I I I use. Okay, so it can be your preset can be one page, it can be two pages, it can be three pages. It should be long enough for you to be able to weed out tire kickers, people who simply just want to subscribe to your list and and not really do much after they have subscribed to your list. What you want is targeted traffic. So the reason why you are preselling is you want to kick out everybody who is not interested. So if it takes two pages or four pages or eight pages to do that, then go ahead and do that. Okay, well, um, Tony. Tony says, I want you to clarify the function of Infusionsoft. Infusionsoft is a autoresponder and a payment processor. The, you know, the payment processors we have in Nigeria are like VoguePay, dot com or simple pay for you dot com. Now what Infusionsoft does is it combines both functions. It works as an autoresponder and also you can use it to generate payment buttons where that people can click on and make payments with their cards. So Infusionsoft is an autoresponder and also a payment processor. But like I said, it's expensive if you want to start out. If you want to use them it's it's uh, expensive, you know. So it costs two thousand five hundred dollars to start with efficient stuff. So that's why uh, I, I recommend you start with get response. Get response does practically everything that efficient soft does, and apart from the payment processing. So you can get use get response and then get another company like Vogue Pay to handle your your payment processing. Okay. Okay, Omoba. Idris Adeyemi, he says the chat box will work fine if you give the direct link to the Hangouts. Yeah, of course, I give the direct link to the Hangouts, I think. Did I? Yeah. Okay, I, no, I give the YouTube link. Oh, I see. I see what he means now. All right. Uh, we're going to do that for the next webinar. I mean, this one is, is almost done. So we're going to do that with the next webinar. Thank you, Omogambe. Thanks for that tip. Okay, and um, Patrick says it's not about the number of, of pages of a short report, but about getting results. The pre sell pages are not intended to sell any report based on the number of pages, but to qualify your prospects and ensure you're winning. Exactly, exactly. He's, he's very, very correct. Patrick Ogini, I mean, Patrick is, is one of the guys who, you know, I don't like using the word gurus. He's an expert. I'll, I'll put it at that. So, what he just said is absolutely, absolutely true. All right, so uh, okay. Any other questions? How can you make your buyers to buy from you? Of course, Tony. If you want buyers to buy from you, you can. Um, you can. You have to make an offer. You have to have a product that you're selling. Okay, when people sign up to your list, you have there has to be something that you have to give them to buy. Okay, so now making them buy from you is is now what you do to convert them to buys. I think that is a that's another topic. I think that should be our our our, our t the topic of our next webinar: how to increase your conversion rates and get people to buy more people and to get more people to buy from you. I think. That should be the topic of our next webinar. So we'll do the next webinar next week, Tuesday. So we are going to talk about, I'm going to teach you how to make more people to buy from you. So Tony, so um, next week, I'm going to answer that question in detail. OK? Thanks. And um, who else? Olari and Waju Atanda. Olari and Waju says here, well, Larry, what you say is, can we have can we have the opportunity to watch this webinar? Definitely, of course. Just go back to this link and you can watch it. Just go back to this link here and watch it. And um, 
I'll leave it. I'll leave it there. It's going to be there indefinitely anyway. So you can always come back and watch it over and over and over and over again, anytime that you want. Okay. Okay. Let's see. Bukayo. Bukayo says. Bukayo says, thanks so much, boss. No time for procrastination. We'll use that concept starting tonight. Exactly. Exactly. You know, the best way to, to get results is you learn something new and you go out and you do it. You learn something new, you go out and you implement immediately. Because the longer you wait, the, the more you are going to get distracted, the more you are going to, to see ideas that you think are better than what you learned previously, you know. So that's what we do, that's what I do in my business. I learn something new and then I implement as fast as possible. So you really, really should do that. Okay. More conversions for the pros. All right, so it's enough for the guys. Uh, it's almost midnight. Uh, thank you for coming. Whatever you want to be known as, you know, I thank you for watching. I wish to be able to be the weekly thing. I enjoy teaching, you know, and just sharing. I okay, so this is my offer. If you have a product that you are selling right now, okay, uh, and you want to write the the, the um, email follow-up series for you, I'm going to do that. I'm going to do that. It's not going to cost you a lot of money. I'm just going to charge you a token. So I'm going to write five email follow-up messages for you. Now this is how it's going to work. All right. But you must be sure that you have a product that you're already selling, or a product that you want to start selling. Okay, don't please don't contact me for this if you don't have anything you plan to sell. I mean, we, we can't wait for you know. So, so we're going to do this. Um, it's going to be. Uh, it's going to be 10,000 error for the 45 for emails. That's that's the super super begin. So basically, I'm charging you 2,000 2, error per email. So five emails, 10,000 error. If you're interested in it, send me send me. Just say I'm interested in the email follow up offer. Send it to me as a message here on Facebook, and then I'll contact you. Or if you have my phone number, you can call me. Uh, tomorrow, not tonight. Tomorrow, um, and let's discuss about it. My number is zero seven zero three two three six one zero nine two. Again, zero seven zero three two three six one zero nine two. Or very easily, you're already online. You can send me a message on Facebook. Send me a message on Facebook, and take it up from there. Okay. Uh, Prince says, please can you talk more about SendGrid? The kinds of look very cheap. I can't really say much about SendGrid, but I don't use them. I really talked about them because I know that it, it exists, you know, 
I've not used them, so there's really, really nothing much I can say about how they work. But I know they are also an autoresponder company. I, but I don't know about how they work, really. Mm -hmm. So I really can't say much about it. OK? Hope you understand, friends. All right, guys. Um, it's 11.45. We've already exceeded our time by five minutes. I want to say thank you again for listening. Thank you wherever you, you tuned in from, Lagos, outside of Lagos. Uh, Pakistan, hey, Shoaib. Shoaib tuned in from Pakistan. Shoaib Ahmed. Shoaib Ahmed tuned in from Pakistan. Uh, and Shoaib, thank you for tuning in from all the way from Pakistan. Bless. Alan Cords. Alan Cords is, is a super mentor of mine. You know, he is watching the webinar all the way from the US. Thank you, sir. Thank you for watching. And of course, um, Patrick is on the webinar too. As much, as big as an expert that he is, he still found time to come watch. So thank you everybody who has come in, who tuned in to listen. I hope you got a lot from this. And next week, we are going to rock your world even more. So thank you so, so much for listening. Thank you again. God bless you. Goodbye.